I will, I, will, I will utilize as well to ask you this question. Let's talk about the feud in the party and the, your, your kind of your relationship with the founder of the party. I mean, it's 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 all over that you are not on good terms. It's all over that you know there's so many so much feuding in the party. Don't you think there are so many cracks. And, uh, could you just tell us about how far these these allegations are true? Well, they say a house divided on its on itself cannot stand. Absolutely. And so divisions in any uh, organization threaten the very survival and existence of the organization. Um, I think that in any human organization, especially political parties, there are bound to be disagreements. It is how you manage your disagreements that make for a successful party or a disorganized uh, party. Um, I must say that, yes, there have been disagreements, you know, since we came into office. And um, I, don't, I wouldn't say we managed those disagreements uh, properly, but I'm sure that good sense will prevail in good time for us to be able to uh, successfully prosecute 2012. I'm confident that uh, President Mills can win a second term. He would have done enough, you know, both in terms of handling the uh, country and the economy and in terms of managing our party differences to be able to be elected a second term. Yeah, what about your personal relationship with the founder of the party? Um, I don't have a problem with the founder. I don't know where that myth comes from. You know, people say I'm not on good terms with him, you know. Um, I'll not say we are paddies. I mean, <laughs> yeah, like I go to his house, we eat fufu together and things. But we have, we've had a cordial relationship for years. I worked for him. Yeah. It's him who's made me who I am. He noticed me and made me Minister of Communications. And I always owe a debt of gratitude to him for that. And so I don't think that personally we have a problem. If he calls me today, I'll go and uh, listen to what he has to say. A lot of people think that you, are, you, you, you may go for 2012 as a president, and um, that uh, you, want, you may want to achieve I've what... been quite clear about this. Yeah. You know, right now, my mandate is to serve uh, President Mills and act as his vice president. And um, I have a sense of loyalty to him. I would not run against him in any election. Mm. And so I've made that emphatically clear okay. that I would not run against President Mills in 2012. Okay. And he has come out at least on three occasions to say he's going to go for a second term. So I don't know why there's all that yeah. speculation. So there's, there, there's no iota of truth in that. that well, he's going to run. He's no, I mean, you run running. In no, I'm not going to run okay. against President okay. Mills. All right. Definitely That's, not. Okay. Now, I know that you are, you are on your way back home from China. I mean, you went on an official trip. Uh, could you share with us some of the benefits that countries uh, stand to, to gain from this trip to China? Um, it, it was for the World Investment Forum where three countries invited to speak. So there was the Prime Minister of Mozambique, there was the Deputy President of uh, Zimbabwe, and then uh, President Mills was the one invited. Mm. But um, because he's going for a state visit to China later this month, it would have been funny for him yeah. to go for this okay. conference, come back to Ghana and go back again to China for the state visit. Mm. So he asked me to represent him in this conference. Okay. And so I was one of the panelists. I spoke about Africa, it was a World Investment Forum. Okay. And so we all spoke for our regions and our countries in respect of how investments going forward should be handled. I think it was very, very useful. Okay. And then the good luck is that the vice president of China, you know, was the host for the investment forum. I see. So then he gave me the opportunity to meet up with him and we discussed a lot of the issues that President Mills is coming you know, to China mm. to discuss the bilateral issues. Okay. And so it was like a sort of preparatory meeting. Okay, so you... I mentioned some of the things that were of concern to us, and then um, he promised that when the president comes, those are some of the issues they'll deal with. So it was like some pre-event... <laughs> yeah, so you actually yeah, as a forerunner. Conference, <laughs> John the Baptist, yeah. <laughs> and coincidentally, you're all Johns, you know. <laughs> but That's finally, right. I mean, this is my fourth year. Let's talk about sports. Mm. I mean, I know that... Uh, they I know you, you, would, you couldn't avoid <laughs> sports, yeah. <laughs> I know that, uh, you know, under your, under your administration, I mean, uh, since the NDC came to power, we've won the World Cup, that's the under-21. We did well. We got to the 1-8 one, one uh, stage of, of uh, the Senior World Cup in South Africa. Uh, one, I've got two questions. One, what, what is the government doing to also uh, promote the other disciplines? And then two, which is more important to me, uh, I know your, the government spent about $90 million to, to, to sponsor uh, soccer fans to South Africa. But at the time that we needed money for our schools, for our roads, when children are, 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 are you know, studying in dilapidated uh, classrooms, no, what do you call it, um, Medicare for some of the needed ones, no hospitals in some of the remote areas, no clinics. 
I, why did the government do that? I, don't you think that was uh, more of a misplaced priority when we had so many things begging uh, you know, the government's attention at that point in time? Well, uh, I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say it was misplaced. Um, if you remember, this is the second time we're going to the World Cup. And in Germany, too, we sent, you know, some people. Yeah. Um, this is a one-in-a-lifetime event, mm. you know. But do you have to sponsor somebody yeah. to go on vacation? Um, not on vacation. The intention is to sponsor them to go and support the team. Mm. You know, we have these professional support organizations. They know how to play the band and cheer yeah. up the team. Yeah. I mean, yeah. generally, you want them to go there and give your team that spirit, if okay. you get my point. And because it was happening in Africa for the first time, it was an African game, you understand? And mm. so it was necessary for all of us countries to show solidarity with South Africa, you mm. know, and make the game an, an event to remember, you know. So I, I don't think it was misplaced. I think we did our best. It's just that the attitude of some of the supporters, you know, might make some people regret that we did that. Some became so rowdy and yeah, I know. unreasonable. You yeah, know, when they were uh, camped at, at, at yeah, Elwak and All in all, I think the spirit behind it was, was good. Yeah. And finally, what was the government doing to, you know, also bring up the other sporting disciplines like athletics, um, like boxing, yes. you know, hockey and the rest? Happily, we have some quite good arenas for athletics now, like the running track, you know, in um, Kumasi. A stadium and um, a few others. Even in Tamale, I think there's a running track around the field. Mm. So it gives our people the opportunity to do more uh, training. Athletics is one place where we're very good, and yeah. suddenly we, we we just seem to have. I think it's partly because we collapsed and stopped these inter-school games because that's where we used to spot the yeah. talent. Yeah. And so one of the intentions is to bring back the inter-schools and inter-colleges competition strongly mm. so that we can pick out the talents, you know. Right now, schools say they come by javelins, they come by discus, and all these other yeah. things that we took for granted when we were in secondary school. Absolutely, yeah. So I think that's where we should tackle it from. Okay. And once we spot the talents, to invest in them, like we invest in football. Mm. The, if you invest, you, you reap, reap yeah. the results. Mm. I mean, look at the investment we've made in football over the years. Mm. You know, from the previous government, actually from uh, even uh, President Rollins' government through the previous government, this Black Stars team was not born in one day. Absolutely. It's taking time to groom mm. them over yeah. years. It came through under 17, exactly, under 21. Exactly. Yeah. It's the same we should do for athletics and things. We should spot the talent at the school level and grow them to the national team. When they become prolific athletes and they go and compete, they're going to make money mm. for the country. The mm. Black Stars have earned Ghana, you know, $32 million or something like that, mm. you know. And so there's money in sports now. And it's a invest, big business now. If we invest in it, we'll get that money back. Mm. You know? So we will invest in the other sports. We're doing something about boxing, okay. trying to create a special arena so that the young boxers can train and all that. Okay. Um, recently, somebody gave, uh, donated boxing rings to us, which we're giving to the various uh, boxing associations. And we're looking to build a modern boxing arena where we can spot the talents and train them you know, so that they can make this country proud. I know you don't have much time, but thank, thank you. you so much for your time, and uh, I wish you a safe flight back home. Thank you very much, and, uh, Thank you. <laughs> say hi to everybody back home. Right. We'll be there soon. Okay, we'll, well see you. Well, you'll be, you'll be listening to His Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, Mr. John Dramani uh, Mahama. He's made it very clear to us that uh, he's not standing for elections, so the speculation should die off now. He told us about efforts being made by the government uh, to, you know, make life uh, worth living for for Ghanaians, that's a better Ghana motto. And then he also has also made us aware that the government is really working very hard to also not only promote football, but promote other sporting disciplines. And then he thinks that uh, government has put in place so many measures also addressing the issue of unemployment. It's been quite interesting coming your way. I guess you have enjoyed every bit of the discussion. And uh, you'll stick around same time next week, uh, next time I should say. Uh, today, this is just really quick for us, I say bye for now.